What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be going over how to create YouTube ads to promote your YouTube videos. So I'm gonna be showing how to use your Google Ads account and the type of video campaign that we can create, which is gonna be the in-feed video ad format so that we can actually promote one of our YouTube videos. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this campaign at $5 per day and we're gonna review it after we've spent $50. So the video that I'm going to be promoting today is my free Google ads course, which I just actually published to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to have a follow up video for this one as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in our Google ads account and we're going to create a new campaign. So for this, our objective for this campaign is going to be product and brand consideration. We're going to be choosing the video campaign type and we're going to be using influence consideration. So we're gonna click on continue. Okay, the next step, we have our video campaign, product and brand consideration. Let's do our campaign name and let's do free Google ads. Okay, we have our campaign name here and next is gonna be our bid strategy. And for this campaign type, the only bid strategy we're allowed to use is maximum cost per view. So we're gonna set a bid at the bottom for how much we wanna pay per view. So we're gonna keep scrolling down. Our budget type, what I'm going to choose here, instead of campaign total, I'm going to be choosing a daily budget and I'm just going to set it at $5 per day. So we're going to keep our budget very low. You can obviously increase your budget if you want to. I'm going to keep it low and we'll just review this after $50 and see what type of success that we're having with this campaign. I'm not going to set an end date right now, so we'll just keep this campaign running. Now as far as networks, you can see there's YouTube search results, YouTube videos. Now. One of the options you're going to see down here is video partners on the display network and down here it's going to say campaigns that are eligible for in feed video ads now run on both YouTube networks to expand where you can reach potential customers. So our networks are going to be YouTube search results and YouTube videos. We're not going to be running on video partners on the display network and in feed video ads do not run on the display network. So let's keep scrolling down here. Now locations I'm going to set there's four countries that are the most valuable for my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna to go to enter another location and I'm gonna to go to advanced search and we're gonna enter the four countries and based on a thousand views on my channel, these are the countries that actually deliver the most revenue. So what I'm trying to do today is reach people in these countries who have not watched videos on my YouTube channel recently. So we're gonna start by adding Australia. Okay, so we have four targeted locations here. We have Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, and United States. Now, if you are outside these areas, it doesn't mean you're not so valuable on my channel. These are just the four locations where basically advertisements cost the most money. So there's the most competition in these countries for advertisements. So what I'm trying to do is reach new viewers who have not either watched YouTube videos on my channel recently or who have never heard of me. So hopefully I can drive some new subscribers from these four locations. So we're going to click on save. And we're going to keep scrolling down and next is going to be select the languages your customers speak. So for this one, I'm going to choose English. All my videos are in English. So I'm going to choose English as my language targeting. Next is going to be content exclusions Define where your ads can show. I'm going to keep standard inventory here. And then next I'm going to do excluded types and labels. What I'm going to do right now is just leave this wide open. So we're going to keep it as our standard inventory and I'm not going to exclude any types or label labels for this specific campaign. So next is going to be related videos. So we're going to click the drop down here and we're going to add a couple related videos for my channel. Okay, we'll click on the plus sign to add some related videos and all you have to do is paste the URLs for the different videos on your YouTube channel. So we'll start with our Google search ads tutorial. We'll come down here and let's see what else we have. We will do Google display advertising tutorial. So we'll copy this link address and we'll come back over to our campaign. We'll do that one. We could do two to five videos. So we'll add up to five. So we'll do conversion tracking. We'll copy the link address for this one, paste it here. And we'll do performance max campaign. So we'll enter that one there and then we'll do remarketing. So we'll do these five videos and we will copy our link address for all of them, paste these five videos. So you see down here, your related videos might not always show with your ads. Changes to the number and order of your related videos may also occur. So we're just going to enter some videos here. So hopefully people can see that we create a lot of different Google ads videos. So if you're interested in the course, you're probably interested in some of these other videos as well. So we'll click on done. So we'll keep scrolling down and next is going to be devices. So I'm going to keep this open to all eligible devices, frequency capping. So what I'm going to do is cap my view frequency 
and just cap the number at three per day. I don't want the same person clicking on my advertisements over and over on a single day. So we'll cap it at three per day. If someone clicks it twice, maybe they didn't watch the video the first time around. So this should limit it from showing to the same person over and over again. Ad schedule, we're gonna keep this all day and I'm not gonna change third party measurement. So next is gonna be ad group name and I'm just gonna set this as a custom Google ads audience segment. So I'll show you who I'm gonna target as we keep going through our campaign. So I'm gonna name my ad group custom Google ads audience segment. Next is gonna be demographics. The only thing I'm gonna do here is get rid of unknown as far as ages. So I just wanna make sure people are 18 and up. That's all I'm worried about right now. So we'll do 18 and up for the age and we'll collapse this here. Next is gonna be audience segments. So what I'm gonna do here is come to browse and I'm going to target a custom audience segment. So we're gonna come into our custom audience segment and we're gonna create a new custom segment here and we're gonna do people who search for any of these terms on Google. So the Google search terms we're gonna do is a bunch of search terms related to Google Ads. So anyone who is searching for Google Ads in general, I'm gonna enter all these different keywords here. So Google Ads, Google AdWords, and what I'm gonna do is just take some of these different suggested keywords and I'm just gonna keep adding these keywords here. So any keywords that are gonna be somewhat relevant to people looking up any type of information related to Google Ads, that's what I'm gonna enter here. So we have a bunch of different keywords now. This should be more than enough keywords to build a big enough audience with our custom segment. We can always add keywords to this later if we're having trouble spending our budget. So we're gonna click on save and that's what we're gonna target. make sure we name our segment and we'll click on save. Now, if we come back over here to browse, the other audience that I could target is how they interacted with your business. And I can come into my YouTube users here. So since I have my YouTube channel linked to my Google ads campaign, I can come into YouTube users and I can target people who are similar to all YouTube views. So we're gonna try to reach people that are similar to people who have been viewing videos on my channel because that should be another relevant audience that we can target. So now we're targeting these two audiences here should be a very good targeting option for us. And what we can also do down here is do audience expansion to reach more people who are similar to our selected audiences. So that's what we're going to do here is we're going to choose these two segments and then we have our audience expansion as well. So it's showing our total available impressions more than enough impressions with our $5 daily budget. So we'll keep scrolling down here content where you want your ads to show. So you could try to choose some different topics, placements, and keywords here. I'm just gonna focus on audiences and let our ads show on the different videos and different topics that they show. So we're gonna keep scrolling down and now we have to enter our YouTube video. So we're gonna come up here and get our free Google Ads course. We're gonna copy our link and we're gonna paste it right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is choose in-feed video ad for our ad format, keep scrolling down, we're gonna use the thumbnail. So the same exact thumbnail that we created, we're just gonna use that thumbnail. So let's keep scrolling down. We can choose a headline, which gives us 100 characters, description line one, description line two, and then name our ad. So we will just do, okay, so we have our headline here, 100% free Google Ads course, drive more sales and leads with your Google Ads campaigns. So basically the benefit they can expect and that they don't have to pay to actually watch my Google Ads course. Description line one, discover how to drive revenue and growth with Google Ads. So we're gonna name this our in-feed video ad one. So if we come down here to ad creation, what we can do is create a new video ad. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right back over here, we're gonna copy this URL, use the same exact in-feed video ad, and all we're doing is we're gonna set some different headlines, different description lines. So we're just testing our copy against each other to see which actual advertisement people are gonna be more likely to click on. Okay, so for our second one, we're gonna discover how to drive more business revenue in 2022 and beyond with Google Ads. And with our description one, we're gonna do grow faster and more efficiently with our Google Ads best practices. So this will be our in-feed video ad two. Now what we can do is create a few more of these in-feed video ads, but we'll just do these two with a couple, some different headlines, different description lines. So we're gonna come down here and set our maximum cost per view bid. So they're saying you can improve your campaign's potential reach and performance by using a bid of 19 cents. Suggested based on your budget, campaign duration, targeting criteria, and ad format. So I generally set my maximum cost per view lower than what Google Ads recommends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my maximum cost per view bid at just eight cents. So 
saying your bid might be too low for your campaign settings. Truthfully, I think with a $5 daily budget, with this low num or this high number of impressions, my weekly available impressions here, I think I'm gonna have no problem reaching plenty of targeted people in my audience with my advertisements. And if I do have any trouble spending my budget, then what I can do is always go back and increase my maximum cost per view bid. It's obviously in Google Ads best interest for me to set a maximum cost per view bid of a dollar per view because then they can charge me more for every single view on my video ad. So I could start this even lower, but we're gonna set this at eight cents and we're gonna let this campaign run. Once I get to about $50, we're gonna review if this campaign has been driving me subscribers, if this campaign has been driving me effective views, and let's see how well it's performing for us. So what we can also do is create one more video ad and say subscribe to our channel. But at the very beginning of my course, I do have please like and subscribe. So hopefully that drives sus subscribers as well. And ultimately what I'm hoping for is that people view my Google Ads course, realize I release a lot of free videos to my channel, and hopefully they wanna subscribe so they can watch the videos that interest them. So we're gonna come down here, we are going to create our campaign. So if you're cur curious about how to create an in-feed video ad campaign, or how to promote your YouTube channel using some of your existing videos, this is one way to do it. This is probably the best way to do it using YouTube advertising. I don't promote my channel a lot, at least using paid methods. Most of my promotion comes from organic SEO, keyword research, trying to figure out what people are looking up and creating videos to solve their problems. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let this campaign run. If you wanna revisit this, I will make sure that I put in the video description of this current video, the update to this campaign. So once we go to continue to campaign, the one other thing that we can do is I'm gonna come into my ad group and I'm gonna to go to audience. And this is something you might wanna do as well, is we're gonna come down here to exclusions. So we're gonna add exclusions to define who should not see your ads. So we're gonna add exclusions here and we're gonna add them, we could do campaign level. And we're gonna come over here to browse and we're gonna to go to your data in similar segments, YouTube users, and I'm gonna say, let's exclude all YouTube views. Anybody who has viewed videos on my channel, let's exclude them from this ad campaign. So I'm trying to reach new people who have not interacted with my business yet. So trying to find people who don't know about Surfside PPC. So hopefully we can drive some more views and subscribers. So let's click on save here. And that's the last thing that we need to do. So the way our campaign is set up is we're targeting a similar audience. We are excluding anybody who has actually watched my YouTube videos. And what we're doing is we're also targeting a custom audience segment of people who are actively researching Google Ads. So by targeting people who are looking up Google Ads keywords, we can reach a bunch of people that have shown some level of interest in Google Ads and some level of interest in marketing in general if they're similar to my YouTube users. So let's let this campaign run and we will revisit it. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.